Welcome to the Gene Scoring Initiative of Safari. This collaborative initiative was recently started by the Simons Foundation with the goal of creating a method for evaluation of the strength of the evidence linking individual genes to autism. To provide an introduction to new users that may be unfamiliar with the Gene Scoring module, we have created this short tutorial. This first part of the tutorial will cover navigation around the Gene Scoring module homepage, as well as to the Gene Scorecards and the information contained within them. Here's an image of the actual Gene Scoring Module homepage. Clicking on one of the navigation tabs indicated by the blue arrows will take you to a new web page with information on that topic. We'll go into more detail on those topics a little bit later. Clicking on the Scoring Home tab, shown here circled in red, will bring you back to the Gene Scoring Module homepage if you have navigated away. Next, we'll show you how to navigate to the list of genes for each gene scoring category. Clicking on a gene scoring category name, some of which are indicated here by the blue arrows, will bring up a new page, indicated by the red arrow, with a list of genes from that particular category. Now, we'll show you how to navigate to the gene scorecards. With the category's gene list open, clicking on a gene symbol, some of which are indicated here by the blue arrows, will bring up the gene scorecard, indicated by the red arrow, for that particular gene. Let's walk through a typical gene scorecard. In this case, the scorecard is for the oxytocin receptor gene, also known as OXTR. The box in the upper left-hand corner of the gene scorecard shows general gene information, such as gene name, aliases, and chromosomal position of the gene. Just below the general gene information is a box that contains a short narrative describing the evidence that links the gene to autism. Next to the narrative is a box showing the gene scoring category that this particular gene has been placed into along with a short description of the category. And finally, in the lower right-hand corner, is a box with a list of references for the gene, along with links to the PubMed abstracts. From within a gene scorecard, it's also possible to navigate to other Safari gene module pages. Clicking on the navigation tabs, indicated here by the blue arrows, will take you to the corresponding module page. In this case, either human gene, animal model, or protein-protein interaction. Now let's go back to the Gene Scoring Module homepage. As mentioned earlier, clicking on any of the blue navigation tabs, shown here by the arrows, will take you to a new web page with information on that topic. As mentioned earlier, clicking on the Scoring Home tab will always bring you back to the Gene Scoring Module homepage if you have navigated away. The Rationale tab will take you to a page that has a discussion of the reasoning behind the Gene Scoring Initiative. The Scoring Process tab takes you to a page that contains a discussion of the general process that was involved in giving scores to the autism-related genes that are contained in the Gene Scoring Module. This discussion includes detailed descriptions of the categories used to classify these genes. Clicking the Annotation Criteria tab will take you to a detailed list of the rules and categories that were created for scoring the evidence linking a given gene to autism. And finally, the Advisors tab takes you to detailed biographies of the panel of advisors that were involved in creating the gene scoring process. Please also take a look at our second tutorial for more information on the gene scoring process as well as to see some gene scoring examples. As always, your feedback is greatly appreciated.